Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. What is my car doing? Um, I like low-key broke my tripod thing for my car. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I just got a coffee and you know what I'm honestly doing right now? Driving around so that Ben falls asleep. I know that I should just put him down for a nap, but he won't nap. And if you don't want mommy to lose your mind, let's take a night night. So we just, Mike and I did a bunch of stuff around the house this morning. I'm sure you don't even care, but I'm just telling you how my day is going. Um, tonight is Michael's kindergarten orientation. Lately, I've been having like major baby fever and it like needs to stop um, because I just see like a couple of my cousins just had babies, some friends, and then like a ton of people on Facebook have had babies recently. And girl, like the part, like you have, you honestly have a forgetter. Like, like you forget first of all the pain of labor which is like so horrible and then like the aftermath is like for me at least like I have a hard time after like I have a lot of pain and um I had both of my um boys naturally vaginally I don't know if like that grosses you out to say that but um I didn't have c-sections which I'm grateful for because I could like drive and stand up and walk around and things like that after but just like other stuff comes along with that and it's just like so like why do I want to do that again and then it's like I just look at these beautiful little fresh new babies but that only lasts so long and then they start walking and talking and they're wicked annoying like why do I want to have another one I'm just kidding like I hope you like take what I say with a grain of salt like it's just my personality like I love my children more than anything in this entire world but they're wicked annoying like wicked sorry kids are so annoying and they make me want to blow my head off like 50 no let's say 72 percent of the time um but like it's fine they're my children and I adore them and I would lay in front of a train for them like I don't need to explain that um anyways moving on but like that feeling of like like I can't even I have a picture I'll insert it of right after I had been the feeling of like just giving birth and like having this brand new baby that like your whole world is like completely flipped upside down and it's totally changed but it's like the most beautiful amazing thing at the same time like you know what I mean Okay, I need to stop. Uh, but, like, this is what goes through my head. I just need to get it out so I don't have another baby. Um, but, I mean, for me, I know that I'm not done having babies. I know that I at least want one more baby. Um, but I'm only 26. Not only. I feel like I'm getting old. But like, I, but, like, my mom had me when she was 39. So, like, I have plenty of time to re reproduce. So, um... And, like, Mike and I want to get married and, like, there's things that we want to do. Like, I'm not trying to get knocked up right now. So, <sighs> anyways, um, and, like, God only gives you what you can handle. And, like, that's why I have not and I will not get pregnant anytime soon. Because I don't think I could handle, first of all, being pregnant. Second of all, having a third child. Like, everyone that has three cat kids says that the third one completely pushes them over the edge and it's like I mean I thought that like I thought having two I knew it was going to be hard but having two kids and that like transition the first the legit like year over a year like the first 15 months having two children was so incredibly hard on me on top of the postpartum depression on top of like adjusting to not working it was like so bad so so bad and I've talked about this I've put up videos about my postpartum depression and about just like that transition time was so 
so hard for me. I'm gonna be a nice person and let these people go. Hello, where's everyone going? Goodbye, have a nice day. Like, don't you feel like a good person when you just let all these people go? Um. So anyways, I don't know why I'm even talking about this, but <sighs> your girl can talk. Sorry, I put away my tripod because it's just a super pain in the ass. Um, so here we are going to the open house. What a day I've had. I broke a nail. I It didn't hurt though, like it was cracked and it just came off. I don't really know. I just like sometimes like the simplest things in life can just so be so overwhelming. <laughs> um, maybe not the simplest things. I don't know. And like I said earlier this morning, you just, you get pregnant and you're preparing for this baby and then all of a sudden your baby's in kindergarten. And I know that like, and I know I remember when I was pregnant and everyone's like, it like I'd, I'd be in Target and there'd be like a woman with her two older children and be like, I remember when they were that little and I was like, yeah, we know, like, but honest to God, it's just like, makes me feel old and it's just appalling. All right, well, wish me luck at this thing. I don't really know. Uh, I had to meet Mike there because he was working, but, um, you know, always a good time driving by myself. And they don't want to listen to their mummy today. Are we gonna go inside? We're waiting for Nana.